Warning, this product should be installed and wired by a licensed electrician in accordance with all apical warnings and instructions from the enclosed Hyundai operating manual. Welcome to Worldwide Electric's instructional step-by-step -step video on how to properly wire Hyundai's N700E variable frequency drive, as well as set basic parameters for your electric motor. In this video, we will demonstrate what to expect when you open your drive, basic features of the drive, how to properly wire incoming power, how to properly wire output power from your drive to the motor, how to program your basic parameters, how to use some of the basic controls on the drive. This video is for all experience levels. When opening your Hyundai VFD out of the box, you will find the VFD chassis and N700E manual. The front of the VFD will show the voltage and horsepower rating at the bottom of the front cover. The display will have a variety of buttons and LED lights. On the right hand side of the chassis, you will find a data sticker stating the model, max ambient temperature, output capacity, input information, and output information. And the demonstration today will apply to all three phase N700E drives. We will begin by removing the lower chassis cover that is located on the front side, held by four Phillips screws. Remove the clear plastic finger guard to gain easy access to the terminal lugs. Your three inputs are located on the left, and your three outputs are located on the right. The two grounding lugs are located at the bottom of the chassis. Up here on the green terminal board are your input and output terminals for external control such as output monitor, frequency setting input, current input, alarm relay output, and intelligent relay output. Refer to the manual for full descriptions. To begin, let's start with the input power. Connect your ground then L1, L2, L3 will connect to R, S, T. Next, we will wire the output power from the VFD through motor leads connected to the motor. Connect your ground, then T1, T2, T3 will follow the same sequence as the input, but connecting to U, V, W. Finish the power wiring setup by replacing the clear plastic finger guard over the terminal lugs and the front cover of the chassis. On power up, you will find 0.00, .00 representing the Hertz monitor. You will see a Hertz light, run light, and frequency light, which means the VFD is controlled through the keypad. It is important to note that the drive comes ready to run right out of the box. This comes with one disclaimer. We need to go to the H parameters and set the motor FLA, or full load amps. The H parameters represent all of the motor parameters. We do this by pressing the function button once and scrolling up and down with the arrow keys until you reach H dash dash. Then press function to select. Scroll to H05 to set your full load amps. Press function to select. Then scroll up or down with the arrow keys to the appropriate full load amps of the motor. In this case, we will set to 83.0. Press the store button to save the data. You can then press the up and down arrow keys at the same time to view the D group, which is your monitor mode, and then click function at D01 to monitor Hertz. When starting up, press the run key. You can now control the speed by turning the speed potentiometer clockwise to increase speed and counterclockwise to decrease speed. Again, default settings are from 0 to 60 Hertz. We have turned the potentiometer roughly halfway for 30 Hz. Then by turning fully clockwise, you will reach 60 Hz. Once powered up, it is important to check rotation. If the rotation of the motor shaft is wrong, simply swap any two of the three output leads, U, V, and W. A common misconception we see in the field is swapping two of the three input leads on R, S, and T. This will not work on a VFD. We can monitor our current by pressing function and scrolling to D02. The number seen here is the output current. You will see here A LED indicator light is lit up, signifying the amperage. Parameter D12 monitors the DC bus voltage. Parameter D13 is our most recent fault. If a fault occurs, it will show up under D13. 
If you decide to do any functions after that, it will be stored in D14, D15, and D16 for fault trip history. D08 will be your RPM output. Please refer to the manual for all D functions. To stop the unit, turn the speed potentiometer fully counterclockwise or simply press the stop reset key. It is important to note when the input voltage is disconnected from the VFD, there will be voltage stored in the capacitors of the VFD. This is a basic startup video. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact our 24-7 technical support group at 844-WWE-SERVE or 844-993-7378. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Worldwide Electric and Hyundai Heavy Industries.